Yo, what's up? It's May 13th, 2024. Now, it's been a long time since I posted, man. So I just want to come through and just be transparent. I've been going through a lot. Been dealt with some death, of lo loss of loved ones, frustration, just frustrated, period. And I was at church, man. Well, I, was I wasn't even at church. I was talking to a brother from church. And the brother was asking me if I really considered that I was under the attack of some kind of spirit that's not a God. And I've been going through a funk for a minute. So I'm just gonna come on here and I wanna share what I've been going through and how I'm overcoming it, just in case it can help you with what you're going through and how you could potentially overcome it, all right? So I, I haven't been working out. I've been eating crazy, drinking sodas, all kinds of foolishness, eating french fries, fi fried food. I haven't even been getting up early like I used to. All kinds of stuff. And I'm like, dang. I look in the mirror. I don't look depressed. I don't feel depressed. I just didn't have a reason. Like just walking around with, with no reason to, to do nothing. Now I know you say, dang, you always up here heavily motivated, encouraging people, influencing people. But let me tell you, I done spent like the last seven years of my life on YouTube talking about what I've been going through, how I'm feeling. So it didn't change my motivation. Ain't nothing changed, nothing. It just let me know that I'm still a work in progress. And it's still some things that I got to work through personally to get to where I got to go. So I just had to start praying. I started praying, giving it to God, blessing them, reading the word, fellowshipping with believers, and things start changing. I know I posted that this was my season for grace and favor, and I know it is because the devil was strongly trying to attack me. He placing a real attack on me right now, but I tapped into the promise that God made on my life of who I am and the blessings that he has for me. Cause I gotta know, hello, I know that no matter what, that this is my season for grace, for favor, for mercy, for power. I had to tap into all that. I had to say the devil was a lie. Get up off my arm getting tired. But I had to tap into all those blessings that God told me that he had for me, that he had in store. And it all started with me tapping into a brother that I knew. Brother, I'm gonna give you a shout out, Flo. You, you, you dropped some, some knowledge on me. The brother invited me to church, picked me up right in my driveway. And it's just been just working through it. And when he dropped me off at the Bible study one day, he's like, Thurston, just promise you're gonna post something. Cause I was telling him it's weird. It's like I got writer's block. Just writer's block because I got one hobby is working out. You can look at me and tell I lift weights. I look like I work out. So the main thing I do is work out. Hobby number two is make videos. This video is just me coming on, sharing what I've been going through, telling you that I found myself. I'm back. I'm going to be here more permanent. I'm going to get back to posting. I'm not going to let death have victory over me. I'm not going to have the devil. I'm not going to let the devil have a foothold. I'm going to press into the word. I wake up in the morning, as soon as I open my eyes, boom, drop a quick prayer. I'm going to open my word up. Even if it's just one verse, I'm going to check me a verse out. I'm going to gird myself up in the word. I'm going to pick up the sword and I'm going to fight the devil. I was talking to this one bro, one of my homies. I was like, man, you think that I got a spirit on me like a demon or something? And he was like, I don't know. But then I started thinking about it in the Bible. They say we fight in spiritual warfare all the time. And we don't fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities at high places and things like that. So I'm just claiming victory over what you're going through. I'm claiming victory over what I'm going through. I'm claiming victory over what we going through. Through the blood of Jesus. I ain't saying I understand it. I ain't saying I'm a minister. I ain't saying none of that. But what I am saying is that I'm refusing to give up. 
the devil is a lie. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to share my testimony. I'm going to leave an example for me. So if something were to happen to me, I want my children or my grandchildren or my wife to be able to log on to these YouTube videos and just know who I was, know what I was thinking about. Get some motivation. Hopefully somebody that's like dealing with depression can tap into my channel and get some motivation. Somebody that's just not believing in themselves can tap into my channel and get some motivation. Somebody that's just getting out of prison can tap into my channel and get some motivation. Somebody that's, <laughs> that's doing things that's probably gonna send them to prison. Y'all can tap in and get some motivation. You know, fugitives, if you're a fugitive, tap in, get some motivation. You're a hustler, tap in, get some motivation. You, you're a CEO, you at work, you frustrated, you clocking in. You got a nine to five, tap in, get some motivation. I got all that. But I'm gonna tell you, God is good. And he can just strengthen you, man. And that's what I'm gonna do. I know I serve an awesome God and transformation is immediate. I don't think it takes steps. So right now, today, May 13th, 2024, I rebuke the devil. I rebuke all the tiredness, all the spirits of slumber. I rebuke the, let me call it what it is, depression. I rebuke all that. I rebuke the anxiety. I rebuke the frustration. I rebuke everything today that is not of God. If you are not of God, get behind me, Satan, because we out here, we moving, we got kids to, to raise, we got kids to support. I got a community that's dependent on me. I got y'all. Man, my wife loves me, wife need me. I don't got time to be out here dealing with this frustration. It's real, it happened to us all. It happened to us all. Now I'm a little deep, I'm seven minutes in. I'm gonna go a little deep because I know deep in these videos, that's what my vault is because a lot of people don't stay on long. So I can go in the vault. So the real message, for those of y'all that still here, listen, man, I got out of prison 2016. I've been working my ass off since 2016. We in 2024. I got out of prison May. Wow. May, I think May 16th, May 24th, 2016. I had $600 to my name, had a bicycle, and had a goal of never going back to prison. I've been working my ass off every day. Ooh, fly get me. Fly out the bug get me, but it's been a journey, it's been hard. But at the same time, it's been a very pleasurable journey. And it has not been as hard as if I would have sold some dope or did something illegal. But I'd be like, Lord, when am I gonna get my, my breakthrough? When am I gonna be financially free? When is enough gonna be enough? When can I just afford to go out and do what I wanna do? Not nothing wild, but just go buy gifts for the ones I love. Make my wife feel special. Send my kids something. And it, it don't hurt me. It don't set me back. That's the real frustration. Yesterday was Mother's Day. I had put on for my wife. I had a smile the whole time, which I love doing. But man, God, when you be out and you seeing people, man, and I don't know if they happy as I, happy as I am deep down, but I'd be like, dang, they financially blessed. And I ain't jealous or envious. I want them to keep what they got. I just want something too. So I ask you, Lord, to bless me. Bless my coming and going. Bless me when I clock in to work today. Bless me when I'm investing in, on the stock market. Bless me and protect me because I really need that financial breakthrough, Lord. I need that financial blessing. I need to get to the next level. Let me put a comma behind my net worth. It's hard out here. Groceries expensive, pampers expensive, everything expensive. God, come through. Come through for me, God. I know I got everything else, and I appreciate you. I 
I magnify you and glorify your name. I appreciate the love I have. I appreciate the gift, the Holy Spirit. I appreciate my family. I appreciate the freedom. I appreciate the fact that I don't have these police encounters. I appreciate that I've overcome addiction. I appreciate all that, God. But I want to be financially free, Heavenly Father. And, you know, there's other brothers out here that want to be financially free. They're out here going to work, working night shift, grinding, supporting their families. And I look at some other brothers, and they ain't like, they don't have a crazy history like I got. And I'm asking myself, dang, what they do? Why they struggle? God bless us all. Give it to us all, God. You are worthy. We are worthy. I give myself away so you can use me because this is my season right here for grace, for favor. This is my season to reap what I have sowed. So let me reap some of that positive energy, Heavenly Father. I got a clock in now, but just bless every conversation I have, every encounter with a client, Lord, every button I click when I invest. Bless me. Order my steps in your word. Amen.